Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm Mark, I'm with Steve. We're here in the studio in beautiful uh, Prescott, Prescott, Arizona, not Prescott, Prescott. Mm -hmm. I'm getting better at that. Yeah. I've been out here a few times. <laughs> we, we shoot in a couple different locations. But anyway, this is pretty cool because we're talking about something that's been out there for a while that is definitely worth addressing. And Steve has got some great things to say about AVCHD and Fonica Pro. Right. Now, Sony and Panasonic got together and they decided we want our own format. <laughs> so they came up with AVCHD, which is the Advanced Coding, Advanced, advanced Video Codec. And um, you'll find it in a lot of their cameras, like these little Sony handy cams, Panasonic handy cams. Your professional pr professional cameras actually record your GH4. GH4, I shoot AVC HD on that, C100. C100, Canon. So this format is used a lot. And a lot of yes. people are wondering, how does Final Cut Pro deal with it? And that's the mm -hmm. subject of this particular episode. So let's, uh, let's take a look. All right, so I'm in Final Cut right now. I already have a library called Disneyland because I have some footage from an AVC HD camera. And I'm gonna go ahead and select the event, hit Command I bring up the import dialog, and look, I'm gonna select the camera. That's my camera card right there. So you took the camera card out of the camera and you stuck it in the SD slot in, SD your, slot. in your MacBook Pro. Right. Okay. And now what you're seeing here are all the individual ABC HD clips available. Right? Just like it would be with any Just camera like any card. Camera, okay, right. So nothing different so far. Right, now the thing about, about dealing with th this footage, like any footage, you have two choices. You can bring in an individual clip by selecting it or multi multiple clips, or you can make selections on your clips. Or, and this is what we've always talked about, you can make a camera archive, which is select the entire, or select the camera and then click create camera archive. Yes. And what that will do is essentially make a bit for bit clone of your camera original card. So it'll be a perfect backup for your card. Right, and it'll preserve all the metadata, yes. which is really, really important. Yes. Okay, that's one way to deal with AVCHD. Just make a camera archive or just import the clip you want. Or the portion of the or clip. the portion of the clip you want. So if I go ahead and select this clip and I click, and I click import, by the way, notice it's going to copy it to the library. Okay, right. Of course, there'd be, you, wouldn't, you can't leave in place when you're on the camera card. That's right. Because it would never let you do that. So I'm going to go ahead and click Import Selected, and immediately the clip comes in. Now, the thing that you need to understand about this is Final Cut did nothing to the original media. It just took the, the content yeah. that was really H.264 encapsulated in this AVCHD container and rewrapped it in a QuickTime okay. movie container. So that's a new thing. Final Cut is when it's copying the media over, it's actually rewrapping it from this AVCHD container to a .mov container right. when it's, it's doing so. Okay, yep. it's rewrapping it. In fact. And even though, just so for some people, it was a, the media is available, media for editing. The copying might still be going on in the background because I've seen several people mention they put their stuff in, they started editing, they pulled their card out, and they couldn't understand why their stuff went offline. Like because Final Cut is so fast, it's actually still copying. You can edit while the media is still being copied. Uh, absolutely. So you need to make sure it's finished before you pull right. that card. So, out. And the, so again, is the thing is Final Cut will allow you to bring the stuff in, rewrap it, and you don't have to transcode. Okay. Yeah, there's no transcoding going on. Okay, there's another way to deal with AVCHD media. I'm gonna jump out to the finder for a moment so you can see this. So here is the card, and here's the AVCHD file. And if I drill down into it, I'm gonna go show package contents. Then there's this BDMB file. If I go show package contents. Again. Uh -huh. Again, you'll notice that there were all the individual like transport streams. These are all the video clips. And of course, they mean nothing to the OS. So, uh, There's no what there, you can't play them. Exactly. Point is, all the metadata, everything about the clip is stored within these, um, these containers, okay? So that means, and I don't recommend this normally, mm -hmm. that means you could take this AVCHD file and drag it to a drive or drag it to your desktop. You okay. could, in fact, that's what I did here. I created a folder called Sodi Handycam, mm -hmm. and I drug that very file okay. into a separate folder. And you also dragged the DCIM folder because that's your, oh. any stills any that stills. you had taken would show up in there. Exactly. Okay. So, I, while I don't recommend copying the contents of your media to your hard drive, some people do. A lot of, a people, lot of people do. do. Rather than creating a camera archive, they just drag the contents over. Right. So let's look at how Final Cut deals with that. Okay. okay. So let's go back to Final Cut, back into Final Cut Pro, Command-I, and I'm going to navigate to the desktop, des excuse me, the desktop, because that's where the folder is. There's that folder, Sony Handycam, mm -hmm. and those are, those are all, Final Cut sees it. It sees it directly. You can't see it in the Finder, but Final Cut can see it. And that's it. what beauty of it. Final Cut can see all of that metadata inside that enclosed AVCHD mm -hmm. folder. And so I can skim, whatever. So the reason that Final Cut is able to see these clips is because they're embedded in that folder that's with right. all that metadata. That's, that's right. why I can see it. If you think about it, yeah. that AVCHD yeah. 
AVCHD file is kind of like a camera archive. It really is. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. So the thing is, is that you can make multiple selections, like I'm doing here, just like you know, okay, actually, just like part, yeah, of clip, part of a clip. Part of a clip. Here I've got three clip. selections, mm -hmm. and notice, copy the library. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's the thing I want to point out. Well, this makes sense. I I can't leave them in place, even though I copied it to yeah, the normally, hard drive. Well, normally, once you're meeting it on a hard drive, you can leave it there and point to it, but not not in this case with AVCHD Final Cut. Even though you moved it to your hard drive, Final Cut still treats it as if it was a camera like original a media card. And very much like a camera archive. Again, That's right. yeah. So you're going to have to copy the media somewhere. You're going to have to do that. So in this case, I just say you know copy the library, import selected, and it's going to rewrap those files and bring them in. And just to clarify, rewrapping is not transcoding. It's not affecting the media whatsoever, no. just the container. That's right. Now there's one more option I want to show you that's okay. very popular with a lot of people. And I'm going to jump out to the desktop. Actually, this it's, uh, it's this software called ClipRap. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's Divergent Media. You can get it on their website. Um, let me see if I have their website even up. Yeah, there it is. So there it is. ClipRap is $50. It's really great because you just drop your ABC HD file on there and it just recognizes the codec, the format, the frame rate, everything, and it'll wrap it for you really fast. You had a, you called it something. I called, <laughs> I did, but I referred it to it as a batch rewrapper transcoder. -er. <laughs> okay. All right. So for for ABC HD. Okay. All right. So I know That's that was it was it was kind of ridiculous. <laughs> it's kind of like, ridiculous. Like so so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to ClipRap. I want to do is open up that folder that had the AVCHD file in it, and I'm going to drag it right into the ClipRap folder. So you didn't need to right click and choose open patch contents or any of that stuff. No. You, any, you don't need that nonsense, that sort of dangerous stuff. That there it is. It's it's waiting for. It's just waiting to to rewrap. Yeah, so right it, now. it sees all the clips immediately. It sees all the clips oh. immediately, and check it out. You can choose a destination here, a different one. It puts it in your movies folder by default. But then look, format it rewraps. So. Mm -hmm. It'll just take that original material. It does what Final Cut does, except it does it on a batch scale, okay? But you can also transcode it. So if you have a, a machine that's slower, that has trouble with ABC HD media, because it's fairly processor intensive. It is. To, to manipulate ABC HD media, you could choose to transcode it. To, or if you're going to be doing a lot of color correction manipulation, you might want to transcode. Yep. Yep. And you can do it right here. Uh, rather than doing it in Final Cut if you wanted to, especially if somebody just gave you the .mts file. That's right. That happens a lot. Here's a here's an MTS, or here's a BDMV, BDMV file, or here's a ABCHD right. file. I don't know what to do with it. And in that case, Final Cut won't be able to read those because it doesn't have the metadata. That's, that's so exactly then you right. need something like ClipRap. Yep. Okay. And then there's one last thing is that you can optimize it for different NLEs, Final Cut, oh, wow. Premiere. Uh, I think it is a metadata optimization thing. I'm not sure exactly what it does, but if you go into Final Cut, you might as well check Final Cut, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. So last thing is convert. And wow, it's um, fast. Well, let me. <laughs> this is the trial version, so it's only converting the first minute. Oh. So that's it's really fast. <laughs> but it's oh yeah, that's you know. It's, oh, it's very short clips. Yeah, very short clips. Okay. But the bottom line is, is it's going through here. Well, the rewrapping should be very fast. It it's just be. the copying that might take a little while because it's also copying the media to the location right. you designated. You can see it's like demo limit to one minute. Oh, so I really, see. but you know what? It's this, you know, pay fifty bucks and you got this yeah. great little app. So. I'm going to jump back to Final Cut. Oh, done. Go back to Final Cut. Go back to the import window. And I'm going to navigate to that movies folder. And inside there, there, there ClipRap creates a folder called ClipRap. Mm -hmm. And notice if I select these, there are, there's my clips from the ABC rewrapped footage. Now, one of the advantages of doing this this way with ClipRap is that now you have the option to leave files in place. Now you can leave them wherever they are. Without right. and save the whole process of right. copying them somewhere again. But okay. there is a downside to this method too. <laughs> of course. The downside is I cannot make individual selections. I see. I can see right now. There's a band, a yellow band yeah, around the whole you clip. You can. You have to bring in the entire clip. Okay, can't bring in part of the clip. So it's right. the only downside. But really, this whole process of clip wrap is kind of like a a, a fail safe if things weren't done right properly. If you didn't create a camera archive or import directly off the card, or if you didn't use that ABC HD folder, if you didn't copy that whole thing, right? Then this saves your saves your butt, yep. right? It really saves your yeah. butt, and it, it deals with those individual MTS files. That yeah. is really cool. Great, I think so. I think awesome, so. Yeah. Steve. Great set of tips. Very helpful. AVCHD is kind of confusing, complicated, but Final Cut deals with it natively, and uh, hopefully that made sense to you guys and help you understand why you can't always leave in place when you want to leave in place. So um, awesome. Thank you. Uh, RippleTraining.com. 
Twitter, at rippletraining.com. We do a lot of stuff on Facebook. If you're on Facebook at all, check us out there. And uh, thank you once again for watching MacBreak Studio.